So back at CES, AMD announced a partnership with a company called Inmodis on a product called FuseDrive. But that was back in the beginning of the year, and I've already made a video on that, which you should definitely go check out. So why am I talking about all this now? Well, not long ago, Inmodis sent me an email telling me that they liked the first video I did, and were wondering if I would be willing to make another one showcasing their updated software. Now, I wasn't going to bore you guys with another boot drive video since the steps themselves haven't really changed at all. So I had an idea. I'm personally running out of storage on my main SSD and all of my video project files keep getting bigger and bigger. I need a large yet fast scratch disk to edit my videos off of. But I'm a college student now, which means I'm broke and I can't really afford a terabyte SSD. Luckily, Fuse Drive can help me take a 128 gig SSD that I have lying around and a one terabyte hard drive and turn it into the fast, large, cheap scratch drive that I need. And I'm going to show you how to do it as well. First, Inmodis wanted me to tell you what's new with their software. The most important change is that it is now compatible with Intel as well as AMD platform. So any AMD Ryzen desktop will work and any Intel 6th gen or higher desktop will work. On top of that, the new software has also been refined for increased performance and stability. Now, remember, the main difference between FuseDrive and other similar softwares is that FuseDrive is a tiering software as opposed to caching. That means that instead of making a copy of the most used files onto the fast drive, it will actually move the files themselves. Now this has the benefit of allowing you to take full advantage of the full capacities of all of your drives. FuseDrive also uses machine intelligence to figure out which files would benefit most from being on which drive. Pricing starts at $40 for the standard version, which gets you up to a 250 gig SSD, and $60 for the premium version, which gets you up to a terabyte SSD. Now in this video, I'll be using the premium version since that's the license that I was given by Inmodis, but the steps will be identical between the two. Another important thing to note before we begin is that if you are using a drive that was previously used in a fuse drive VSSD, you will need to use disk part to do a full format of the drive. Once you do that, don't forget to restart your PC before doing anything else or it won't work. Now, once you're ready and once you've purchased the license for Fuse Drive and downloaded it, go ahead and install it. This is a straightforward process of just clicking next every once in a while. Once that's done, go ahead and restart your PC. There should be a Fuse Drive icon on your desktop. Go ahead and run it, then click Create Non-Bootable Fuse Drive. It'll give you a warning, click Agree. Then you choose your hard drive and set it as Slow, and choose your SSD and set it as Fast. If either one of the drives already has data on it, that's fine, as long as at least one of your drives is empty. It doesn't matter which one. Once you're done, click Create. It'll begin the tiering process, and once it's done, and it should only take a few minutes at most, restart your PC. Now you're almost done. Go to the Drive Partition Manager of your choice. The one built into Windows works just fine. Find your new Fuse drive. There should be an unallocated partition in it. Click on the active partition, select extend, and then extend it to the maximum capacity. This will allow you to take advantage of your entire drive capacities. And you're done. But how well does it really work? Well, first of all, it's very important to remember that it'll take a bit of time for it to learn. So you won't see the full performance right away. But simply from copying over files onto the new drive as soon as it was created, I can already see that it's taking advantage of the full SSD speeds while still having over a terabyte of available storage. But this is a scratch drive for video editing, so the real test will be to see if there's any noticeable performance drop while editing off of it. And for that, we'll have to wait until I finish editing this video using it. And that's it. Thank you so much to Inmodis for helping me make this video. And if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and leave a comment down below if you have any questions, concerns, anything at all. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Solid State Tweet for the first updates on anything. Subscribe if you want to see more cool videos like this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one.